Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. So we're looking at The Pale Beyond today. This is a survival role-playing game developed by Bellular Studios and published by Fellow Traveller. So I wanted to have a little look at this because it's a game where we go to the Arctic, we get trapped, and we have to try and survive. So will we freeze to death or are we going to survive? I, know, <laughs> I think I know what's going to happen here. So we're doing a new game. And let's go and uh, hit the ice. Okay, what do I actually do? do I, I like the total lack of information of what I'm supposed to do. Oh, the air be cold. Oh, the air be cold, a flake and white as a sailor begs to pledge. Oh, now what should we choose? So, oh, the air be cold, a flake and white as a sailor begs to pledge. Out in the ice, I'll stake a claim. That in the dark, they'll... Okay, out in the ice, I'll stake a claim. I like, I like that one. Out in the ice, I'll stake a claim and carve a course ahead. Sounds good. Uh, of homes they'll dream. Of warmth long lost and chase to frost world's edge. A hunger draws the desperate here. It's one that can't be fed. That's got to go. That's got to be it. It's the one that can't be fed. What will ye do? When steel hearts break and courage does abscond. I'll lead those souls, so help the gods. Out of the pale beyond. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to starve to death and eat each other. We're going to survive. Crew wanted. Able-bodied crew wanted for dangerous expedition. Months of darkness, low wages, slim chance of safe return. <laughs> glory, glory to be on the event of success. That sounds like the best job Uh Job, job, well, the job advertisement I've ever seen. It's better than what I've seen on LinkedIn. Okay, you're alone in the office. The tea in your hand has long since gone cold. That reminds me. I've not got tea, I've got coffee. I'd rather have coffee, yes. Looking around the room, you can make out a collection of military books. On the desk is a ship in a bottle. A metronome ticks away steadily. Okay, I find it calming. I find it rather calming. The dedicated rhythm soothes the senses. It stops. Okay, keep waiting. You hear footsteps climb the stairs that brought you here. Okay, let's remain standing. The door behind you swings open. The captain bounds past you to the other side of the desk. Do you have all your teeth? Okay, let's show him. You bear your teeth to the man. Good. Can never be too careful. <laughs> why, why what happens if I've got less teeth? It's the little things that can lose people too. Uh, I've not had scurvy before, if that's what you're asking. There's more things to worry about than just scurvy. How many people have died under your supervision? Uh, none. Meaning you're either perfect for the job or a liar. Or you've never been in command. Uh, okay. Uh, the latter. Really? Command test a person's metal. Do you think you're ready? Is anyone really ready? Some more than others, it would seem. Please take a seat. Okay, I'd rather stand. Of course, this won't take long. Okay, he's a tough captain. He's not rushing. I'm Captain Hunt. The pleasure is mine, Robin Shaw. He nods. Okay, let's ask him about the ship then. On your desk, which ship is that? Ah, this. Detailed, isn't she? Incredibly. An old sailor superstition. Um, what's... Are you going to tell me what it is? Hope you ain't waiting too long. I'm told it's worth the wait. Good. There's been a lot of candidates. Some good, some bad. Interesting mix. I'm sure you understand the need for discretion. Okay, um, let's just keep listening. Months of darkness, low wages, slim chance of safe return. That didn't deter you, did it? Quite the opposite, it's why I'm here. Good work is hard to come by, it's to be expected, surely. Okay, let's say it's why I'm here. A first for adventure. Yes! I'd keep that to yourself, I'd keep that to yourself around the other sailors, they might drown you in it. I have a few questions first. Okay, what questions are you going to say to me? So this is going to, I wonder if this is going to be like the character creation, depending on what I choose now, affects my stats. 
Were you born a landlubber or sea dog? I'm going to say the ocean. Saltborn. The ocean, same as yourself. I'm saltborn and bred. Military experience. Um, let's go for Royal Admiralty. Never commanded, though. In what circumstances did you lead? leave? Uh, Honourably. Have you ever fired a weapon? Yes. Have you ever killed a man? Yes. You're not married, are you? Of course not. You better not have a death wish. One must believe that returns to justify leaving in the first place. Any less and you're doing yourself a disservice. Right, so where are we headed? We're here to find a ship in that bottle. The Viscount. Heard of it? No, enlighten me. Funny enough, in the UK, they do have a biscuit called the Viscount, or they used to. So what's the Viscount? Five years ago, she set sail on a research expedition towards the Dead Peninsula. They were trying to find and study the absolute magnetic south. Okay, did they? Did they what? <laughs> did they find the magnetic south? I have no idea. She never came back. Her last known location was 200 miles south of land, presumed lost to the ice. See, that's what's so interesting about games like this. To think that the world used to be so small that you couldn't just like hop on a plane and go somewhere. You'd actually be sailing into the unknown. Um, five years is a bit late for a rescue operation. They're probably dead. Alive or not, the research is supposedly of extreme importance. Okay. You have my attention. Captain smiles. Here's what we do know. Not one person has thing has heard from it since it left port. Oh, until now? Until now. Someone was found who claims to have been on the ship. Okay, so where are they? Mental asylum. Oh, dead. The, the testimony seems to have outlived them. Those with more money and sense want that old ship. That's the job. If I don't pick the first mate, someone else will. And, well, my judge of has got me this far. Okay, um... What of our crew? Quite the mix, a work in progress. Some I've known for years, they get in on trust experience. Others, well, they interview. Okay, how large is the crew? Work in progress. It's estimated over 20 when all is settled. We do have transport though. We'll be on board the Temperance. She's a beauty. Greenwood generational. Not many like it these days. The Viscount and the Temperance. The sister ships. Oh, okay. Built together. Sent out into this world to die alone. <laughs> Superstition gets people killed. So does cynic cynicism. Captain looks at the bottle ship. So what do you think? Okay, when can I start? Ah, not many are as eager as you. Checks his watch. Anyway, I think I've heard enough. Are you, do I, does this mean I get the job? We leave in a month. Welcome aboard, Shaw. Proverbially speaking. Okay, you're not what I expected. And what did you expect? We're more than our mistakes, Robin. Let people surprise you. I'll see you on the temperance. Okay, so we're um we're going to to sea, and we're going now. Before you lies the ship. The letter on its side read Temperance. You walk the cobble to the boarding ramp. Beside is a sharply dressed man overseeing the lot. Okay, so who's this dude? He turns to you with a stern expression. You can feel his eyes assessing you. Okay, so he's recognised on Colonial. You must be Hunt's pick for first mate. I figured he'd keep it in the ranks. Good man. He extends an arm. Richard Templeton, a pleasure. Let's shake his hand. I shall be operating as Chief Science Officer. I'm also the representative of our benefactor. Okay, so... I want to know who the benefactor is. Applied Botany. Not much use for botanists on the ice, is there? <laughs> he glares at me. I assure you, I'm well equipped in all that is scientific. No doubt I need to inform you of your duties. You're second only to the captain himself. I must warn you, you have quite the task ahead. All right, so... It sounds like we've got a bit of a rum crew already. I expect you to be the organised sort. You would not have been assigned this role otherwise. Right. Um... 
Okay, let's choose that neutral sort of one. That's comforting to hear. It would seem for the most of the crew, the captain favoured personal history over experience. It's good to know he found a capable sort for such a vital role. Let me know when you're ready to depart. I'm certain you're eager to be back on the ocean. Okay, so um, let's have a little look over here first. Who's this? A young man. A young man stands at the ramp, stealing himself for the journey ahead. He begins to drag up his feet onto the ramp and onto the ship. Okay. Uh, the city. We don't need to go back to the city. Hunt's description of the ship was accurate. What's it? Has it got a big steam um, engine or something on it? I reckon that steam thing's new. Right. I'm, I'm going. We're going. To Narnia. I mean, to, to, to the magnetic south. I'm assuming that's the South Pole. I know literally nothing about what the, the South Magnetic me even means. The Pale Beyond. So this is going to be the good stuff, isn't it? This is before we uh, freeze and have to eat our own uh, toes. Been a month. A hunger draws the desperate here. It's one that can't be fed. What will ye do? When steel hearts break and courage does abscond. I'll lead those souls, so help the gods, out the pale beyond. First mate log, it's been one month since I signed on, one month since we set sail. I'm told the waters will get warmer as we pass the hemisphere before they turn colder. Right, so who's paying for this? I can't help but one loose foot in the bill for all, it's certainly not the captain. Hmm, okay, it's none of my business. Question still lingers in my mind. Okay, the temperance. The penalty has nothing like this. Let's say she's magnificent. A technical marvel. Reborn from this mission, breathing again with life. She's simply magnificent. Okay, as for its master, he's mostly keeping to his quarters so far. Let's say I trust the captain. He seems a trustworthy sort. Just like choose your own adventure this. We're choosing the different uh, topics to talk about. I don't think there's any right or wrong answer though so far. Experience alone justifies his position. There aren't many who make out the other end of the naval service with all their limbs, let alone his vigour. Okay, I say I've heard the rumours. Drinking, desertion, there's probably a good reason he's dressed in antiques. Perhaps I'm too quick to judge. Right, one of the sailors is approaching me. Captain wants you at the helm. Right, okay. I'll head there now. Okay, he leaves. Ooh, so I can go to the forecastle. I can go to the captain's cabin or to... Let's join him at the helm. You send the stairs to the stern and find the, the captain manning the helm of the ship. Ah, Robin, lovely day for it, isn't it? Okay, it is indeed, Captain. Indeed. Days like this, I make sure to do my share of sailing. He winks. Okay, let's let him continue. Ooh, is he going to let me have a go? Did you ever take the helm in the Admiralty? Never felt right not to for me. Here, why don't you give it a try? Yes! Here we go, let's do donuts. You grip the wheel of the ship and feel the weight of the waves in your arms. Okay. I can move around and look at stuff. Hopefully there's not gonna be a kraken. The memory in your muscles rear themselves as you begin to move in time with the ship and the wind. Easy. There, you have it. The captain pats you on the back. Fantastic. Now try to get a sense of where we are. Get some perspective. Okay. So where are we? We're in the middle of a fog. <laughs> a foggy patch. Panning and zooming speeds can be adjusted in the settings menu. He takes the wheel back from you. I think I'll drink the morning in a little bit longer. Would you mind preparing my quarters for the day's work? There's much to do. Okay, let's go to his uh, quarters then. Right, so what, what have I got to do? The painting? Okay, that's not good. I said about the Kraken. I know to the old folk story, the great Captain Sh is it Seamus dancing with the Salt Kings. Um, what's that? The desk. That's, these are like other things. He's got a he's got a bath. Ooh, nice. He's got a tub. What's on his desk? Papers, notes, and maps, as well as a sealed letter. Okay. Let's uh, examine the desk then. You take a seat at the end of the room. The captain joins you. Now, let's run through our provisions before taking requests. To start, there's 23 souls signed on for us. 
ourselves included. That's 16 3 to be assigned for tasks if they aren't busy. The rest are deployed to their permanent stations. Oh, so this is going to be like crew management part of the game now. You're only able to deploy crew who you have discovered. They must be in good health and not otherwise deployed to another post. We'll be picking up the scouting crew at the next port. Um, the lot of us all seem to, seem, to, seem to be in good spirits. So this is all this. That's the crew and that's the spirits. The expedition will end turning itself apart if you end the week with no decorum left. We have enough provision for six months. In case of emergency. If you can't afford the minimum food rations at the end of the week, crew will become malnourished. Unless cured, malnourished status will develop into scurvy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, we've got, we've got more than enough fuel to see us there and back. Cold temperature increase the minimum fuel required at the end of the week. If you cannot afford the minimum fuel, crew will become freezing. Unless cured, freezing will develop into frostbite. Oh, no, 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 no. So they're going to they're gonna die of scurvy if I don't feed them. And if I don't keep them warm, <laughs> we're going to die of frostbite. The sledding dogs. Well, there's still a matter of negotiation. Dogs will need to be sent sledding teams out to gather resources. That's interesting. Okay. Now, on to the work. So, who's, who are these? Uh, Cord Corvid and Cordell. I'm going to click on Cordell because you've got a cutie doggo. Have you agreed under my conditions? To the point, eh? This is Lady Cordell. Oh, she's here to provide us with the kennel of hounds for the sleds. And our agreement was she would train them up until we part ways at the nearest island, but... You neglected to inform me you were bringing my dogs through the Pale Passage. I had no intention of sending them back to its death. Okay, this doesn't sound good. It's one thing to ask for my whole kennel, it's another to drag them into this ice to chase a myth. Never before has a buyer been so dishonest. And never before has a seller made such strong demands. Right, we need to try and appease her. Um, that sounds nasty. Let's ask what the demands are. She demands we allow her to come along the expedition as a member of the crew. That sounds fair enough, but we're at sea anyway, so you're here. Um, bring it. But the thing is, we've got space for more crew. Um, yeah, we accept your offer. I, I can't decide. Not gonna give up her demands. This deal is already to your benefit. Yeah, I don't know how to to make doggos do what I want to do. Your sleds are useless if you can't control the dogs, and I would like to ensure my dogs are treated properly. Right. Welcome aboard. Your experience will be valuable. Invaluable. Okay, so we've got twenty four crew now, and she's sleeping with the dogs. I hope I'm not making mistakes, sure. So we've got, we've got doggos now. Right, who's this then? Who's Corvid? Let's click him. He's got he's got headphones on. <laughs> they're, not, they're not headphones. I know they're not headphones. <laughs> what, what's he got on? We found the stowaway. Okay, who are these? You know you're not the first stowaway I had. You know where we're heading, don't you? I do, sir. The ice. Did you know that before you climbed in that crate? I did. What? Why Why have you come? Or is this the stowaway? Do you know your jibboom from your bow spirit? I do. I learned it all from me da. Your da. He's Ward's son. Followed him on board back in the city. Well, we can't... We can't chuck him off the boat, can we? What should we do with him? I'd keep him on board. Hunt squints. Why? Because we're at sea. Right. He's, he he's here because his father is. It would be wrong to separate them. Uh, you don't you need all help you can get. This young man wants to help. He's here because his father is. Let's choose that one. All right, boy. Consider yourself part of the crew. Keep your nose clean, follow orders. I will, thank you, sir. Captain. Aye, Captain. Okay, so we've got an extra member of the crew. The litter now has a new runt. 
I hope the rest won't mind sharing their rations. What the father? Um, split their pay and rations. Okay, we'll keep an eye on them both. I suppose you're right. That's that matter sorted. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's crack on. One more errand for me to run. Could you grab the Stoke Brothers and order them to meet me up deck? Hefty lads, red hair, you couldn't mistake them for another. Okay, where where are they? Who are they? You haven't met all the crew yet. They've been serving me for years. They're down on the middle deck. In the meantime, you should grab a copy of the crew manifest and get acquainted with more of the crew. Okay, so this is totally interesting so far. It's totally not at all what I thought it was going to be like with introducing me to like the crew and stuff. Um, I need to go to the middle deck. Join the figure balancing on the mast. So who's this? Does yellow mean that's important? It's the ship's photographer. Okay. Let's wait for her to finish, because she's balanced. I don't want you falling down. Oh, Officer Shaw. It's about time I met the first officer of the ship. Kasha, Kasha Belford. Okay, how do you know me already? I do my research. I suppose there was some sort of rule against what I was doing up there. Sometimes there's a shot you cannot pass up. Okay, sounds like she's a pretty decent photographer then. Maybe that was good that I didn't try and surprise her. She could have fallen. Okay, you expected someone of her accolades to be older, more experienced. Um, her accomplishments outweigh her youth. Okay. The cold game. Picture that as a header. Let her continue. For this piece on the voyage, I'm trying to come up with a snappy name. Nobody will read it if it sounds like the work of an amateur. I'm not a creative type, I'm sure you'd know better. Maybe not. How about Hunt's Incredible Voyage? Too fantastical. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? I'm a little excited. Never been on a voyage like this. I suppose some of your experience finds it all boring at this point. A trip to the ice may seem dull compared to Royal Admiralty. Okay, I'm not adverse to frills. I hope we have some coming this way. I'm hoping to capture something right out of Kurt Darling's old escapades. That reminds me, he'll be joining us as an export. I should get his picture at some point. Okay, stand st Okay, we're getting a photo. Please warn me before doing that. Okay, how long did it take to develop? Only a day or two. I've made the makeshift dark room in the hold. Speaking of photographs... Is this the- Oh, the crew manifest! This is what we needed! Excellent! So this is all the crew. So look at the, the, the young one, Timmy the Runt Ward. Um, who's the other one? We've not met him yet. Uh, Joseph Joe Green. They've all got different traits, look. Oh, that's interesting. So they're the ones I've met so far. Headphone head was Emilia Corvid Sparrow, Killian Smurf Sanders, Joseph Joe Gren and Timmy the Runt Ward. Timmy the Runt, Runt Ward's the best name. Right, how do I get out of that? Um, I need to get out of the crew manifest. Okay, to do it. No. See, that's a, to me, that's a bug. Why is it showing me that and that? Uh, I'm gonna, I've just agreed to something. I've, I've just thanked you for something. I couldn't even read what it even said. I have a few more shots I want to get for the sun lowers. Safe shots, officer, don't worry. Okay, you crack on with that then. I'm going to go below deck. Oh, wait a minute. There's another one here. Two Johns. These got... Are these the gingers? You spot a large man with a youthful gate carrying a heavy crate over his shoulder with ease. Oh, your officer Shaw. Gives a warm, warm smile. Two Johns. That's what they call me. I'm sure you'll get your nickname later. He tends to offer a handshake but loses control. He struggles for holding it in place with both hands. Maybe later, work awaits. Okay, so let's head down below deck and see what's popping. Um, I think we need to go to the mid deck. We need to find these ginger brothers. Right, here's what I've done. The accordionist. A red-headed man with a thick beard sits proud playing on an ivory accordion. He spots you and it ceases in his playing. Okay, let's. I'm looking for the Stoke Brothers. Emergency? It's just a meeting with Hunt. 
You're speaking to one of them. Grimly Stoke. We'll head up after dinner. You can go now. The man gestures to the cook across the room before resuming his playing. Okay. So he's just totally... Just totally burned me off there. Okay, the crew have their meal. It passes in relative silence. The crew return to their posts. The hammocks are unfurled in preparation for the evening. Twilight falls. Okay, let's go and see who else there is. Over, di over dinner, you overhear the newly picked up stairway speaking with a one-armed man. But da, your lucky hunt didn't fray you overboard. Half a mind to do that myself. Come on, da, I'm here to help. Better know that involves work. Don't expect special treatment. I won't. You're an impossible child, Timmy. <laughs> okay, so at least we got to meet someone there different. Like, let's go back up to the middle deck now. Uh, what's that trying to tick? That there. Oh, there's someone new over here. Who's this? Mr. Gloss. Let me look in the light. Where was it? He notices you. Ah, oh, Officer Shaw. Dwight Glossy. I seem to have misplaced something whilst settling the cabin. A bottle of wine, actually. Okay. It'll turn up eventually. I'd hope so. My wife and I brought a bottle to celebrate with. To be safe for the journey back, of course. Well, if you find it, let me know. If I find it, I will uh, I'll let you know. I'm, I fancy going... Um, shall I go into my cabin? Okay. There's nothing to do in my cabin apart from the journal. Let's go back to the top of the deck. We've got a number of things to do. There's the ocean. A wisp of smoke flies past your face. Ooh. Okay. Who's this then? Mysterious smoking sailor. Looking at something? Not many sailors can read all right. What's the letter? A letter. All you need to know. Tashi. Okay. He's hard to talk to. So we'll ignore him. Um, let's go and talk to Templeton. You spot him looking into the set sunset. As you approach, he turns to look, to look at you and nods. Ah, for so sure. It'll be some time before we see such a sunset like this again. The light distribution towards the southern pole is quite the change. Okay, I noticed you went to dinner with the others. I prefer to eat in solitude. I have my own cabin and I make use of it. Keeps his focus on the reflection of the sun. Over the stirring of waters of the ocean. There's great expectations upon us, officer. Let's say, do you think the captain's up to the task? I admit, I do not know. The man's a mystery to me. You, however, seem to likely to stay right. Yes, he likes me. He looks back up at the sunset. Quite a sight. I wouldn't linger upon it too long. We should retire for the evening. It's important we are rest we are rested. Okay, let's advance to the next week then. So we just hold down E. Oh, wait a minute. There it. There it goes. Nearly did not let me advance to the next week then. So let's uh, confirm rations. Uh, normal stuff. Confirm rations. I'm assuming I just click on that. Click confirm. Okay, the ship makes its last port at Orca Island. Caldell's sledding dogs are picked up, the scouting crew and Kurt are picked up. The days are getting brighter as you move further south. Begin the next week. Now this does have a point where I think you can only do like a week. And then it's like saves your progress. So I think we've done a week. I think now is the time to go. And that is it for now. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you do want to see what happens to the crew, then comment below and leave me a thumbs up so I know enough people want to watch this but very intriguing game not at all like I thought it was going to be I did think it was going to be I was dumped on the ice straight away but it's not like that there's a whole story there's a mystery going on you know who's paying for this trip what happened to the other ship is it a case of simply getting there and finding the other ship or is there something more mysterious going on so anyway this has been the pale beyond I'm Shirley Rocks Thank you for watching, I'll see you again next time.